Today we're talking marriage after 30, but it's purple pill content today. Let's get into it. Welcome back viewers. Felix Black here, your number one source for purple pill content on the internet. What am I talking about today? I'm talking about subscribing to the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and help me get my subscribers up, man. Make sure y'all make use of that comment section down below. I appreciate the dialogue. This question comes from a viewer of the channel. Thank you very much for the question. And she asks, in my opinion, which does all these videos should be my opinion, right? Is it harder for women after 30 to get married? Yes, <laughs> I mean, yes. Can women after 30 get married? Absolutely. I'm not saying that it's impossible for women after 30 to get married. That's insane to say that. Is it harder? Yes. And I'm going to say this from a male perspective, why it is harder. It's harder because you guys are in your peak condition in your twenties. As far as looks go, understand that we're visual creatures. I'm a pictures guy. I like to get pictures again. They don't have to be nudes. They could be regular photos. I like this. I like to get pictures of the woman that I'm with in your twenties. You're in your peak condition and you're swatting men away left and right. Right. I'm not into that. Nope. I don't want that. Nope. 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 Whatever. Until you find the one man that is able to sweep you off your feet. What do you do? You get into a relationship. You may have a child or two. And let's just say for the sake of argument that that relationship doesn't work because of the question. That was asked. And now, you know, you have children, you're going into your thirties. Now that relationship has changed you. It's changed you because now you have two children. You have one child. Let's, let's say one, no matter how you want to view it, children are a blessing, love kids. But in the world of dating, that takes your stock down. It does. You're not as marketable. You're not as appealing as a woman who doesn't have kids. That is your measuring rod. And you are more appealing than a woman who has two kids. The biggest thing is not even the children. It's not even your appearance. It is the mentality of women after those relationships. And it's usually, it shows in women in their thirties, definitely women in their forties. The fact that you might have had a couple of relationships, a you met a couple guys that were not good to you or for you. That has, in my opinion, made women a little bit bitter. The one is the ones that I have met. This is by no means a general statement. I'm always talking about, you know, the ones that I have met. Keep that in perspective, please. People like to come on my videos and say, not all women. I never said all women. This is, um, this is based on my experiences and you can't change that because you're different. The women are bitter. They talk about how men are not good, how the men are not responsible. The men have not been good to them. And yes, it is the men that they have met. However, but you're just meeting me. And if we're having a conversation about how you feel about men in general, to me, that's not a good conversation to have when you're getting to know somebody. If you meet me as a man, Felix Black, and our first date, our first conversation on the phone, via text, whatever, and I'm talking about how women, you know, they're all about money, there's, there's no loyalty with women, and, you know, they, they just want attention. That's not, that's not gonna paint me in a good light as a guy. You're gonna be like, whoa, Someone did something to this guy and now he feels a certain way. So you automatically feel that there's a hurdle you have to overcome. And so we feel that as men too. I feel that as a man, I feel like there's already a hurdle because of the men that you've dealt with before me that had nothing to do with me. And so when women start using words, like you have to prove you have to show me that's how you end up deleted. Like I'm not about to prove or show anything to anybody. I'm going to be myself. And if that appeals to you, let's do it. If that doesn't appeal to you, we can either be friends or you can delete me. I'm cool either way. 
but that is the reason that is the main reason i always say uh, looks will attract me but it's your personality that keeps me coming back there's nothing worse than a beautiful woman with a bad attitude right there are women with who who don't look as nice with great attitudes <sighs> Sometimes they get put into the friend zone and sometimes they become, you know, more than friends, you know, boyfriend, girl, boyfriend, uh, girlfriends, maybe even wives. We're always looking for the pretty face, good personality, right? Both men and women. But a lot of times the women that I come across now as in their thirties, they have a bitter feeling towards men and towards life and towards love itself. And so my thing is, why are you out here dating if you feel that way? It's going to be hard to want a man. It's going to be hard for a man to want to get to know you and take you out and all of that you know, stuff that comes with dating. If your mind frame is negative towards men, because I'm a man, <laughs> I'm one of those men and I'm not going to keep saying, well, I didn't, I've never done that. I can't say I will do that, but I've never done that to you. You know, so why do we keep talking about it? If you're not over your ex, please go get over him before you come talk to me, because I'm not going to talk to you about my ex. You may ask me a couple questions and I might answer them. But once we start getting into, and I had a person ask me to like, show me, show her pictures. No, what do you, no. Are you insane? Like that is that is that is wild to me that someone has asked me and it's wild to me that someone has sent me a picture of them with their ex i didn't ask for that i would never ask for that like how did your how did your ex look i really don't care that is the problem that i see with women who are over 30. when i talk to women in their 20s you know and when they're at their peak they may be a little immature for the most part. Yes, they're all about um, that fairy tale romance. They want someone to love them and only have eyes for them. And it's kind of like, okay, understand that, that's the Disney fairy tale we always hear about. What do you have to offer in a relationship? And she's like, what do you mean? I mean, if I have to explain that question to you, then you're not even in the right mind frame. And that is the hit on women in their twenties. They're just not in that headspace yet to have that conversation. That's my experience. Now you can tell me how you were when you were in your twenties. I don't know. I don't know if I believe that I'm going off of what I, what I've experienced. Okay. But once women get over there in their thirties, um, their stock is going down because as women age, their stock gets lower. I'm just stating, I'm just stating the dating facts. Um, they, she may have more baggage that comes with her in the form of children. Children are a blessing, but in the dating scope, that is a, that does take away from your stock a little bit. The biggest thing is that mentality. It's not, it's not always positive. It's usually negative and they always seem like they're upset. They're always upset. Seem like they're mad. There's always issues. And again, one of those things that I always preach about is when I come home, when I have a conversation with you, I get it if you had a bad day at work, but don't just tell me the bad stuff. I want to hear good stuff too, because we're supposed to be able to share bilaterally both ways. I want to hear your bad stuff. Of course, I also want to hear good stuff too. I don't want to hear every day is a problem at work. Oh, you don't feel good. And this, that, and the third is happening. Like when does, when do good things happen to you? Cause I want to hear that. That is the biggest thing. Is it possible for women to get married over 30? Yes, 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 yes. Do not come on my video and say, I, I said it was impossible. Yes, it is possible. It is harder because the mentality has definitely changed. I can say rightfully. So there's a way to deal with that. I don't even want to use the word trauma. Cause to me, that's extreme. There's a way to deal with those experiences moving forward. Yes, those experiences will change you as a person. That is expected. But there is a way to change without telling the next person, oh, I did X, Y, Z for Rodney. And so I'm not going to do that again. Like, huh? 
I don't really know how to take that because is that you being the natural you or is that you adjusting to Rodney because you're no longer with him. So why are we adjusting for what he did? If that makes sense. Um, but that's always my thing. Uh, and that was my, that is my response to the question. Why is it so hard? Because the mentality is hella negative and the women are more me first. I, 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 okay. I want, I need, I'm looking for, okay. Got that. But what do you have to offer in turn? And the answer to that varies. There is no right answer. There is an, an acceptable answer for everyone. What do you have to offer? If you ask me that question, I can answer it. That's an, that's a question for us dating. And if that is something that appeals to you, cool. If it's not, then again, we got decisions we need to make, but that is why I feel women have a problem getting married over 30. And if you disagree, cool. Tell me in the comments section. If you agree, cool. Tell me in the comments section, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video.